Um, the, the other technology that I'm seeing come along, and I don't know how that works with smart cities or whether it does at all, but I'm seeing much greater use, um, much greater use, I've seen the odd occasion, where people have bought uh, electrically powered devices. I've seen um, sort of a paddle board like that where you can just stand on and go along the road. I've seen unicycles that are this high, and I've looked them up and they do 18 mile per hour, and, and they go for 18 miles, and that sort of thing. So how are we keeping it? Does any of that play in, and how, how do we manage to keep an eye on what we should be keeping an eye on? <laughs> it, it does all play in, because there are multiple solutions which are going to solve some of the, 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 tra the traffic issues and I think it was referenced, the autonomous vehicles. You know, some people say, well, that's, that's light years away, that's not going to happen. Other people say, well, it's quite close, and you certainly keep, have to keep your eye on all of that, all of those different areas of technology. So we are, we are doing that. Again, I have to say that's where the collaboration that we've already got within the business and academic sectors in Cambridge is really helpful because we've got people talking to us about you know, where some of those new developments are, are coming on stream. I'm not sure whether unicycles is going to form part of it, but, but certainly it is keeping, keeping that eye on, on, on right across the coast. But they were self balancing, that was the whole thing, because that would not be an option for us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.